The time now, it's 5 o'clock on this Monday afternoon, Monday evening, June the 2nd, 2014, on a Monday evening, it's time now for the Water with Jushu P.J. Williams. The evening report, Monday evening, June 2nd, 2014, good evening everybody, our congratulations at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts, got a temperature of 80 degrees. The woman they say was raped at knife point. The aunt and officers were able to uh, tackle the suspect. 80 degrees is our temperature. And now it's 78 degrees with a humidity of 37% with speed. A friend of the victim had kept calling. Southwest about 10 miles per hour. And a dupe with about 50 degrees of visibility of 10 miles. Let's take a look at them. Radar scope shows a couple of blobs of rain showers extreme northwestern Maine. Rain showers in off the southwestern coast of New Brunswick. Of Nova Scotia, rain showers off the coast of Massachusetts, rain showers in the north of Prince of and off the eastern shores of Quebec, and blobs of showers in the north central portion of New Brunswick, and a line of showers from Quebec stretching in north central Quebec and stretching down to Ontario, and a line of showers from eastern Ontario and down to western New York, down to western Pennsylvania, and south central Pennsylvania, and a line of rain showers from North Central Ontario and up in the southern Manitoba and down in northern Manitoba and some showers and storms in northern Wisconsin here. And a line of showers and storms from Michigan stretching out for Indiana, down for Southern Illinois, down for Missouri, down for Arkansas, Western Tennessee, down for Mississippi and then for Southern Alabama and Louisiana, Western Florida Bandel, and a couple of bands of sh showers and storms from Southern Florida and Miami and stretching out in Western Cuba. A lot of rain shots off the eastern shores of Mexico here. And a patchy, spotty rain shots from north central California, stretching out for central and eastern portions of Oregon and for southwestern Idaho. And searching out in northern Idaho, down for western Montana, and searching out for northern Washington State. And searching out some of British coming up in Alberta, down for western portions of Saskatchewan. Still Montana, good evening at 72 degrees with clear skies here. Okay, let's take a look at our satellite loop beer and it shows. Aerospace, which is the aircraft manufacturer, uh, Rolls Royce Engines, which is the engine manufacturer, uh, and also represented. Atlanta Clouds, covered in much of Maine and stretching down, down to Atlantic Canada and stretching west down to uh, agency. Ontario and then for uh, Manitoba and then for North Dakota and then for South Dakota and then for Minnesota and Atlanta Clouds. Stretch it down for the Great Lakes and then for Indiana, Illinois, and then for Houston, Missouri, and for Arkansas, and then for Western Kentucky and Tennessee, and then for Batch of Clouds covering much of the southeastern states and then for Gulf of Mexico and then for Central America. And some spotted cloudiness from northern Nevada all the way up to eastern Oregon and then Washington State, northern Idaho, and then for Western Montana, and Stretch and Burst coming up Albert and then for Saskatchewan. And southeastern portions of Saskatchewan. Hi. Let's take a look at our map situation here. Station from, from Nevada, stretching down to Utah, down for Colorado and New Mexico, up into Texas. And a station cold front from Kansas, down to Missouri, down for Illinois, down for Western Michigan. Warm front from Northern Michigan, down for Ontario. Pink front from UP, Michigan, down for Northeastern Minnesota. And a station front from Montana, down for South Dakota, up in Minnesota, and Ontario, and down to Quebec. And a cold front up to Quebec. For the buying from down for California and for western tip of Mexico. For the buying from central Texas down to north central Mexico. High pressure in North Carolina and eastern portions of the Colorado and southern Saskatchewan and low pressure in eastern portions of Minnesota and southwestern portions of Arizona and down for north central Mexico. 78 degrees at temperature in Boston and Pittsburgh. 79 in Buffalo. 86 in Ottawa. 81 in Washington, D.C. 80 in Cincinnati. 85 in Detroit. 77 in Atlanta. 80 in Miami. 91 in Brownsville. 90 in Dallas, Texas. 81 in Kansas City. 80 in Chicago and Minneapolis. 81 in Denver, 88 out in Albuquerque, 85 out in Salt Lake City, 72 in Great Falls, Montana, 64 in Seattle, 66 in San Francisco, and 68 out in Los Angeles. Current conditions, Manor Region, we got 78 in Boston and 74 in Fitchburg, 81 in Bedford, 76 in Beverly, 77 in Gloucester, 77 in Worcester, 79 in Trevor, 82 in Milford, 83 in Webster, 81 out in Norwood, 80 in Taunton, 76 in New Bedford, 73 in Falmouth, 72 in Provincetown, 70 in Chatham, and in Nantucket, 59 out in Cape Cod Bay, 62 in Boston Harbor, 72 out in Mars Vineyard, 64 out in Balkan, 71 in Westerly, 79 out in Smithfield, 84 out in Springfield, 85 in Amherst, 81 in Greenfield, 83 in North Fort Phantom, 79 in Pittsfield, 83 out in Albany. Uh, 
80 in Bennington, Vermont, 82 in Keene, 80 in Jeffrey, 84 in Crockett and North Shore, Hampshire, 86 in Manchester, Hampshire. Look at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, at 91 degrees and 6 degrees in New Hampshire Bay. It's 81 in Winslocks, 80 in Hartford, 79 in Meriden, and Waterbury and Denbury. 74 in New Haven, 78 in Sanford, 66 in Long Island Sound, it is. 72 in New York City, 72 in Islip, and 69 in Monta. All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion in New England here. Patchy Fox after 5 a.m. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Showers and thunderstorms are likely out of a cold front sweeping across the Great Lakes to our valley in the northeast. And every rain and severe weather expected to be felt across the central plains by Tuesday afternoon. And widespread showers and thunderstorms will continue to break out across the Great Lakes and our valley overnight tonight and in the morning hours of Tuesday. Head out of a cold front pushing its way eastward for these regions of very warm and rich, moisture rich air bass. The place will out for organized areas of convection, contained heavy rainfall, but the Progressive nature of the system should eliminate any worst but flesh flooded issues that have this temperatures and dew points that continue to increase across the northeast and mid Atlantic region that by the rain that storms will begin to move into these areas by late morning early after the dark Tuesday. The upstream vigorous energy is moving up in over the upper region place across the southern tree of the country should provide the ideal setup for heavy rain and severe weather event in the central United States Tuesday for the Wednesday. Very wavy involved with him, but a strong wave of thunderstorms expected to develop north. I was strafing in frontal boundary of the central plain Tuesday afternoon and moving in the middle of Mississippi Valley and western portions of the Higher Valley Tuesday night. And in the Wednesday, WPC has highlighted a slight risk of flash flooded from eastern Nebraska to central Indiana, where a moderate risk is located in southern Iowa. And meanwhile, the storm prediction center will be moderated in slight to moderate risk for severe weather from the northern high plains to the middle of Mississippi Valley. Elsewhere, some isolated scattered shots of storm activity across the southeast and the central Gulf Coast region remains in the forecast for Tuesday, but should finally come to an end by Wednesday morning the surface high pressure dominates. In the northern parts of the northern mountain west, some very light perspiration could be possible as weak energy moves throughout the floor. In the forecast discussion in New England, air drive weather continues in the early half of the day tomorrow with shots and thunderstorms are possible at times tomorrow. In the tomorrow night, a cold front slowly crosses New England Wednesday, then stalls south of the region. Low pressure travels along the stall front on Thursday and moves ahead. And along the south, New England coast on high pressure builds drive over and over the weekend. Near term until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, southwest blowing mountain HA5 temperatures around at 15 Celsius have combined with widespread sunshine allowed temperatures around in the upper 70s and low 80s all clear our way from the immediate south coast, which is cool thanks to the onshore flows assisted by sea breeze and the east coast sea breeze has been tri very tricky met by southwest winds around 10 knots from the SFCO 20. It's sort that has only moved inland and in Held by extensions such as Cape Ann and the immediate south coastal locations. Otherwise, mainly clear skies will continue well into the overnight hours. An hour of note a bit stronger as a bark. Coupled overnight and is up a level disturbance or approaches from the west, and therefore, better south south east flow should preclude radiation cooling in spite of the clear skies. Day before, mainly widespread mid 50s, around 60 degrees, but minimum is expected tonight. Moment 18 high surf advisory into tomorrow and swell looks to linger as offshore ocean storm makes a little headway into the east. And let's take a look at our map situation. Uh, tonight's lows we'll see 59 for Boston and 59 for Providence, 53 for Nantucket, 58 for Concord, 53 for Portland, Maine, 60 in Rutland, 63 in Albany, and 61 in Pittsfield and in Hartford, Connecticut, and 66 New York City. So, temperature range tonight will be 53 to 66 degrees. And some scattered storms Tuesday in western New England. It's a location southwest New Hampshire. Western, Central Massachusetts, and Metro Norman Connecticut, the timing 2 to 8 p.m. and lightning and brief down for the hazards, and storms will weaken Tuesday even as they head east. And let's take a look at our. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at our view outside here. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening on tap. All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast that goes like this. For tonight, we are going to see some... Tonight, we're going to see a... Patrick Valley after 5 a.m. Mobiles, most of us... The clear skies, a low 52 degrees southward, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, coming light in the evening. Tuesday, patch your valve before 7 a.m. or by a sunny sky, then you're 81 degrees, come wind, becoming south about 5 to about 9 miles per hour in the morning. 
To that, Chesu Shah, being left at 11 p.m. Pachu Valk after 2 a.m. of us, increased cost of that. Don't ran 57 degrees, that feeds with about 3 to 6 miles by Chesu Pitch to 4%. Wow. New Pitch Bay between the 10th and the quarter and an inch possible. Yeah. Wednesday, Chesu Shah, but then it's also possible after 9 a.m. Pachu Valk before 9 a.m. of us, class cost of 70 degrees, that feeds with about 3 to 7 miles by Chesu Pitch to 50%. New rain fell mounts between the 10th and the quarter and an inch, extra bound mounts possible in time storms. Was that? Church of Shadows and Thunderstorms, Pachu Valk after 11 p.m. of our most cuts got low 57 degrees south, with about 5 to 9 miles per coming in common evening. Church of Shadows to 30 percent. Thursday, Church of Shadows, Pachu Valk before 9 a.m. of our clear skies were with it. I near 70 degrees with cloudy skies and Church of Shadows to 50 percent. President, chance of showers before midnight. Pachu Valk after 1 a.m. of our most cuts got low 56 degrees, Church of Shadows to 30 percent. Friday, Pachu Valk before 7 a.m. and of our parts of the sky that near 73 degrees and Friday night. Patch of Valk after 5 a.m. of our podcast got alone 35 degrees. And if you're going to the North High School graduation at the Community Center on Friday night, it's going to be perfect conditions, 55 degrees. Saturday, most of the sky is down here, 66 degrees. Saturday, most of the sky is down here, 76 degrees. Saturday night, podcast got alone 56 degrees. Sunday, sky is down here, 75 degrees. Saturday night, Patch of Valk after 5 a.m. of our podcast got alone 56 degrees. For Monday, chance of showers, Patch of Valk. Before 8 a.m. was put the sense guy and your same one degree strength space to 30%. Peter is what a phrase of the day. A evening. A clear night and tap and a sunny and terrific Tuesday and tap to the mouth. That's, let's all right, let's take a look at our traffic situation here at 511. And that's it. And it shows Southeast Expressway southbound. Night slow fam. Tip O'Neill Tunnel congestion on both sides and Southeast Express Way bump to bumper from Mass Pike all the way down to Braintree Split at one point congestion on both fins around the Braintree Split doing an incident on Route 3 South around Braintree Split and 128 South 93 South bumper from Braintree to 24 and 128 South bumper bumper from Westwood all the way down to 24 on Canton here with 93 here. And Mass Pike East bumper bumper from the Pooh Tunnel all the way down to Ted Williams Tunnel due to a couple of accidents around the South Boston stretch. And an accident on Mass Pike westbound after you pass 120 around the western area. So, try to help some. It's busy. 128 South. 120 North. It's bumper bumper from. Ready all the way, Dan Flex in at 120 South Bumper to Bumper on the South Bound Walt Wal Fem to Wellesley here. We've been listening to the National Transportation Safety 495. Back up on the South Bound Side from the Mass Pike Dan Fem 109 in Milford for nine miles. Due to a motorcycle crush on 495 South in Milford, due to ser serious delays possible on 95. 95 South. Bumper to bumper. Around the north, switch for the rise. 95 24. Good to go from 128 to Red Island border and 3 south. More off time from Sagamore on down the Rain Tree. Route 3 north, bumper to bumper from Burlington all the way down to North Field here. 93 south, bumper to bumper from Wilmington all the way down to 90. 193 North, bumper to bumper from Boston all the way up to Wilmington. To the next, and I nearly say 93 North. Near the, the strand is out of turn between the exit 39 and 40 in Wilmington. Try some some next time. By the way, 120 is a few slow spots around. Then South Bound side of 121, people have advised, you're a good girl from Rinnan all the way to Gloucester. Right 95 more from 120 to the New Hampshire border here. And get another one free. And 495 specs in a slow around sub in parts of 495 around Lawrence and 495 north from bumping around 110 in Lawrence and try some attacks on my You're good to go from Newburyport around to Marlborough and 495 is more fine from where I'm always at Foxbury and then through. Three men in no pass except to the south bound side here. And this is PJ's. We have a good evening. What a good positive to be. See you for the late night report after the sports roundup.